Stand by for a second. Standing by. All right, can you hear me? <coughs> yes. Okay, I'll make sure last time I couldn't hear anything. Oh. All right, I am. Uh, I'm gonna go get my FSD supercharged. Yeah, you you be safe about that, dude. My ship looks Copy like that. stars from the underneath. <laughs> Good old crate. She is a beauty. Well, welcome to Elite Dangerous, and uh, this is Crate to Colonia. That's what I call this. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh, come on. Got my buddy Silent Knight here, supercharging to get ready to make this jump. What are we, like 10,000, 11, 12,000 light, light uh, years from the uh, bubble? I believe so. Yeah, it was like, I think it was like 11,500 or something like that. There we go. So crazy. Charged. Got it? Yep, I have my supercharge. Swinging around for approach. Alright, well. I'm initiating. Oh, got you active. Alright. Uh, that scared me for a second. There was a, a garbage truck outside and the engine, like, the, the noise of it just made me go like, Oh my god, is that my ship? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. I was, like, uh, I was like, oh god, is, is that, uh, I hope that is not, I hope that is not my ship. <laughs> That's right. Droid star. Ooh. Nice bright red one for myself. Nothing here but stars, so fly on and to the next one. So we got a hundred and thirty nine jumps to go. <laughs> At least I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's you. For me, that is one hundred and fifty five. Right. It's not that much That's more. Right. No, I've and I mean it's all relative. I've I've already pulled 140 today, so. <laughs> if I find anything interesting, uh, you can just uh, jump to where I am. I can check it out. So you want me to jump over and check it out? No, no, no. I said if I find anything interesting, uh, you can just jump oh. towards uh, me. Vice versa. Yeah, absolutely. Holy cow. 64 well, astronomical objects where I'm at. You don't have a, what do you call it, a, uh, a rover, do you? You just have a uh, fighter, right? Correct. I just have fighters. Well, there's always that overhead support. Oh yeah, I don't. I wouldn't mind. I love. I love flying fighters, especially if planetary. Wait, did you bring a crew? A crew member? Yes, I did. Oh, there you go. I made that mistake and didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, his name is Rufus. Rufus. Okay. Well, yeah, he's good guy. Good guy. Not much for talking, but uh, you know. You know, that'd be a good, uh, cool little, um, 
thing to add if they added um like when you have crew members you could see them sitting in the chair that yeah i think that would be really cool too i mean they take the time to create a whole background for the person um, right. it probably wouldn't be too hard to make them an actual person to see in exactly. the vehicle with you just throw them in the chair you know what do we got we got a couple uh, objects anything interesting let's check it out see this is where that companion app i was thinking of would uh come in handy like right now, instead of yes. having to come to this map, I can just look at it on my phone. Yeah. Right, Though I will say having the, uh, I will say having the, the PlayStation message app is really nice, especially when you send me coordinates because I can just like, number one, it's a good quality picture because it was a screenshot, mm -hmm. and secondly, I can just uh, pull it up on the messages on my phone, and instead of having to like switch on my PlayStation over to see the message. Right. I can just look at it on my phone simultaneously. I don't know. They really need some real time. Because you know Ghost Recon has that real time wild lens at. Oh, do they? Yeah, it's like a GPS, like real time. Like you can literally see the cars that are on the road as you're playing. Like it, it gives you oh. GPS as you play real time. That's what I'm saying. They That's should do something like that with, uh, with Elite. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Or like if you have a real time star map of where you are. 13 yeah. objects here. Though I, uh, though I would, as long as it doesn't interfere with them uh, releasing content because man, these guys are so good about releasing content. Well, see, that's the thing. That would be a separate app that they would make. It wouldn't really have anything to do with it. It just need to be synced with the game uh, servers. That's all. Yeah. You know? I mean, we. it's funny because we say that, like, but I've never made an app, so I don't know how difficult it is. <laughs> I, I figure it can't be too difficult. It seems like everyone's making an app every five minutes, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I don't know. Well, see, this, this is the way I figured, maybe it's just me not knowing anything about apps and stuff like that, but I figure the app does not need to contain the entire star map. Sure. The app just needs to sync with the game to display the current star system that you're in. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't actually have the star map uh, in the app. It would just sync with your uh, system so that on your phone it will relay that that uh star map you know information to your phone you can look at it through your phone instead of having to go to the map sure. i mean beca because my thing is it's, it's kind of it take it's a takeaway uh with immersion and, and uh the gameplay itself sometimes when you have to stop and go to the star map you know what i mean yeah, I suppose. I don't know. For me, I feel like that kind of immerses me even more. Like, I, I would, I might have to do that if I were out in the middle of nowhere. You would, but my only thing uh, with the way we use it is when you bring it up, it disregards everything else. Like, it completely... That, yes, that is true. I wish it would, it would kind of be nice if it could just come up on, like, a little screen in front of you or something. Right, sort of like how... Uh, when you go to a, a starport and you pull up the uh, the starport, uh, you know, resource uh, menu or whatever. Yeah. And it's just kind of hologram that appears in front of your cockpit. Yes. Like if it was something like that, I think it'd be a little bit better. You know? Sure. Yeah. That Instead sense. of it completely, you're completely out of, like you know, the uh, cockpit. <laughs> like you can't control the ship. Or anything, because I mean, honestly, sometimes you may be doing that. Who knows what might happen, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> watch you just like you run into a Thargoid fleet <laughs> while you're in your system map. <laughs> Come back and be looking like Independence Day. Exactly. It's not what we want. Help me, Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> It's not what we want at all. <laughs> That's like one of my concerns, like, doing deep space exploration is like, one day I'll just like, I'll drop in and it's like, Thargoids freaking everywhere, like I found like their home base. <laughs> the 
whole fleet. Yeah, that'd be pretty. Yeah, like the entire like the, the system of their like the, the seat of their empire. <laughs> I'd be like, All right, I'm just gonna tip out of here, you know. Just ran into a couple stars that there was nothing here but the star. This looks fun. Yeah, I've had a couple of those. Oh man, I had on, on the way to uh, to the Sacagawea spaceport. I had a couple of jumps that I was making. One of them, I swear, I don't. Maybe I just, I don't know. Maybe I just miss saw it because I've been flying for a while. But I'm pretty sure I like warped through a sun. <laughs> Wow, okay. Like I came, I came in and it was like I was already at like ninety percent heat, and there was like a sun behind me. <laughs> I was like, oh my good lord. The craziest star experience I've had. I've I've warped in, and I was like in the in the middle between two stars that were huge, and I was like, why am I here? Yeah. <laughs> why would you put me here of all places? Yeah, that. Uh... Nice one, Nava computer. <laughs> I've also warped in and um, been like light years away from the uh, the star, and I'm like, why am I so far? Yeah, I've had a, I've had one. Uh, I, I warped into a place, and it was like the nearest the nearest thing was 0. 0.24 light years from me. So it wasn't even in light yeah, seconds; yeah. it was right. in light years. Right. And I was like, what? <laughs> What is going on here? Who knows? Could have been a glitch. Yeah, or somebody just was like, <laughs> one of the devs just like suckers. You want to get out to Colonia? All right, here you go. Here's a empty expanse of space. Really immerse you in exploration. You know what I want them to do? So uh, um, I missed everything. I want them to uh, finally uh, make this PSVR compatible. Yes, I uh, so want to be... play this in VR. And I'm not willing yeah, to buy be... a PC and a damn Oculus Rift just to do it. I'm not yeah. spending that kind of money. I I just want to be able to get a PSVR for something yeah. reasonable. And just sit here and play it, you know, my little Hotus. Yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, oh, speaking of that, um, maybe you can maybe you can tell me. I have been trying all morning to figure out how to do the uh, the head look on the on the Hotus, and I cannot figure it out. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's a button on the very front of the stick. Um, if you raise your pointy finger up, it's right on the very uh, front, like outer edge of the, uh, the flight stick. Okay, so like I press it, and then, then... You, use the, you use the little directional uh, button on top of the uh, flight stick to look around. Hmm. No? It's just messing with me. Nope. Hmm, really? Oh, I see. Oh, you have to hold the button. Yes. The head look. Oh, I got you. Okay. That makes more sense. Gee. Look at that. Landable planets. Beautiful. None of them look interesting, though. Yeah. I want to come across, like, man, I saw, uh, I saw one that just... I think it was, a, it was in a video somewhere, but it was the craziest thing. Uh, super deep canyons. Uh, yeah, uh, that's, um, it's, it's called, like, Senefu, I can't remember, I don't know. Yes, yeah. It's like the Senefu yeah. something, I've been there, it's, um, it's like three or four hundred, uh, light years away from the bubble. I've been that's there. That's all? Yeah, I've been there, it's, uh, it's actually pretty cool, you get there, and the canyons are, like, a few clicks deep. It's crazy. Wow. It's a cool planet. And there's like, a bunch of fog and stuff, too. And... Yeah, I bookmarked it uh, once I got there. Yeah, that, I have to go visit that at some point, because that's just, that's just stinking cool. 
And it's only it's only 300 light years from the bubble. That's like that's yeah, freaking nothing. I went there and uh, in my ass, but it took me like three jumps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's really cool. Um, there's another planet I haven't been to. Uh, that one guy, uh, Obsidian Ant, that does videos. He, uh, yes, that's who I was watching, Obsidian Ant. Uh, he went to this one planet where, I, I don't know, it looked like the planet was like neon, and it was like this huge bright star, like right next to it. I don't know, it was crazy. But, <laughs> I, I haven't been there, but who knows? There was another one I like that it was like, it, it would just, it would <clears throat> honestly, it would never actually occur in space, but it was just kind of a funny thing. Um, There's like the one that, uh, the the like little moon like orbits like super fast and it's like hard to land on the oh um you know what i'm talking about yeah yeah, yeah. well you can't it's like it, super hard can't. to like you have to like you have to like get in front of you basically have to get in front of the planet and let it run into you more or less right, right, to be able to land you, there you're not gonna catch it yeah no it, it could happen theoretically there are planets that have uh really fast orbits I don't know. That I mean, one I, seems I, I, pretty crazy. Well, we're also thinking from a human uh, understanding point. We're talking about space, man. Who the hell knows what's out there? Like, <laughs> realistic. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you got to think about it like this. Realistically, I mean, as human beings, at one point, we didn't think that you could even get off the planet. That's true. And, it, and we were, uh, the thing we were sure of beyond anything was that it was flat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So yeah, that's true. You know, it makes sense. And I mean, I, honestly, if you think about it, sometimes if, the the reason I'm I'm uh, a firm believer of a lot of things when it comes to space and technology mm -hmm. is just because I mean, if you went back 200 years ago and told them you'd be able to watch movies on a little uh, square device and yeah. <laughs> you know we would have uh, planes that you know can get from from New York to to, to LA in a few hours they lose you like you were they, they probably burn you at the stake they'd probably like, kill you they'd probably yeah, like, yeah, they burn, burn you, you at the stake like, like, exactly <laughs> you know like some of the, the, a lot of the technology we have today yeah. If you, any, if any, you even talked about it back back then in those those days, you would look like looked at like you're crazy. But it couldn't yeah. even be fathomed then. But I mean, if yeah, you look at one of, the, you one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite quotes, and I think they use it in pretty much like any sci-fi TV show or anything like that nowadays. But it's like any uh, it says any technology that's not sufficiently understood uh, is uh, can be attributed to either godhood or magic mm -hmm. you know it's like that's you know to people that don't understand it that's what it looks like exactly exactly i mean and honestly technology is up oh, jump into a neutral star technology is is actually really <laughs> fast forwarded because if you look at at one moment we were what riding horses and using spears and swords for everything and, yeah. you know to now you know we have electricity running water you know mm -hmm. of all sorts uh you yeah. know electronics out the yin yang and we're not even talking about over thousands of years you know what i mean no nope Okay, so that's actually why I like the. That's actually why I love the concept of uh, the Mass Effect series so much, and right. like why it was called Mass Effect is we found technology that leaped us forward, mm -hmm. you know, that far. Uh, which I mean, it, who's to say that that's not entirely possible? I mean, I'm not saying that oh, you know, there's technology on Mars. I don't, you know, I don't know, whatever. But like, you know, what I, no, maybe, I maybe there's technology out there that we haven't that we haven't even like found yet or haven't discovered that you know it, it could do that it could leap us forward in our understanding of of travel <clears throat> got to love neutral stars <laughs> 
I mean, and, and even if it's not technology, it's also a matter of um, understanding because, mm -hmm. I mean, if you really think about it, the difference between us needing a giant, you know, room full of servers to run one computer and a little laptop or a cell phone nowadays is understanding. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. That's all. As time moved on and we really started to refine and understand how things worked you know what i mean it was mm -hmm. like we don't need this much stuff to to work this to we just it. need this yeah. little thing like we you know what i mean so who's to say yeah. the next 10 years we don't figure out you know we don't need this to for propulsion we figure out a new way and now it's like okay well mm -hmm. we've got a better way to move around the space so i don't put anything yeah. past you know no it's true so do we have we, any uh to say we can't do something because it hasn't been done is like it's it's to me it's ignorant you know it, oh very much so yes it's like saying oh you can't walk to the end of the block because i've never seen you do it doesn't mean i can't do it yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> exactly. it doesn't mean it can't be done yeah just mean it just means it hasn't been done yet you know yeah. I like uh, what that was. That was one of my uh, my favorite quotes, actually, from uh, Han Solo in the um, uh, the Force Awakens. Is uh, he's like, you know, I can't remember who it was, but they were they were doing something. They were gonna make like a jump, and uh, she's like, "Is that even possible?" And he goes, "I've never asked that question until after I've done it." <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> So do we have any uh, do we have any broadcasties? <laughs> no, no one loves me today. I don't even got no one. No one loves you today. That's, it's oh. Hard. You know what? I'll watch you. <laughs> Forty-four astronaut objects. There you are. Let's see what's out here. Oh, indeed. There you are. Let's see what's out here. Dude, there are tons of planets. Wow. I think I'm gonna go check one of these out. seconds away. You want to come meet me here? Hey, look, you have a viewer. <laughs> Stupid. Who's <laughs> <laughs> that handsome devil? <laughs> yeah, if you want to meet me here, I'm going to uh, go down to the surface side and uh, right. uh, yeah, kind of survey uh, a little bit. That yeah, sounds good to let me... Uh... Let me find you here. Uh, I'm probably going to jump or two ahead of you. I shouldn't be too far. Yeah, um, let's see here. Yeah, there's like a host of planets around us and one uh, giant gas uh, body. Oops. Just going to land on one of them. Should just be able to look at the map and uh Yeah, you'd think so. <laughs> Let's see, you're assuming that I'm an intelligent life form. Oh, uh, stand by. Can you see me now? Um, let me see here. I kind of like, shit, how do I zoom out? Uh, oh, this little place. 
Zoom out on the freaking galaxy map. Um, the the thrust, the vertical and uh, and wow. the, those thrusts are wonderful. Buttons. There you go. Thank you. Oh, there you are. Well, this is definitely an icy body. I think that's where you are. Is it not? Over my little green, uh. Yeah, no, I'm. Okay, there, yep, there we go. I was able to confirm that that's where I need to go. All right. around. Okay, I'm four jumps from you. <clears throat> On my way over. Say this much the planet looks beautiful. Awesome. I am on my way. Icy body with a little bit of that dirty snow effect. Hmm. Is it yellow snow? <laughs> Not exactly yellow. It's more of that reddish yeah. brown effect. Ooh. <laughs> Definitely don't eat the brown snow. <laughs> That's uh, just asking for trouble. Learned that the hard way. <laughs> yeah, a lot of mountain ranges and stuff. When you get here, uh, you can deploy the fighter. I'll go on ground side. Sounds good. It's only like uh, 0.7 G's though. It's like really, really light out here. I like it. Which means I'm going to be even more maneuverable. Yeah, that, that big, uh, that big ship you... The Anaconda's like a flying boat. Yep. She's beautiful, isn't she? <laughs> you know what I'm going to do. What's that? Take the fighter out. Hmm. And, uh, do you have your wing beacon on? Of course I do. Okay. Just wanted to check. FSD to make the jump to your sector. Copy that. <clears throat> Dude, I don't even really think my crate can keep up with this little thing. I'm clocking 323 uh, cruising. <laughs> the crate does not do 323 cruising. I can, I can promise uh, you that. Not quite. <laughs> Yep, I got your beacon here in the system. Yep. 
Yes, I am. Scooping some fuel and then headed your way. What's going on, Sam? Got a Sam the viewer. <laughs> yeah, one viewer. All right. <laughs> Welcome. My man Sam. No, I will not slow down. I am. All right, I got a walk on your wake signal. Headed towards you. I play GTA 5 from time to time. Oh, there's my crate. seconds out and closing. This camera angle I got right now uh, flying the uh, little fighter is pretty nice. <laughs> It takes a little getting used to. Just flying around. Approaching your wake signal. Yeah, but I see you on the radar. Drop it a little quick, better throw all that back. This should be cool. I got eyes on you. Initiating orbital drop. Three, two, one. Maybe. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, you're about to get that good old glide. There you go. I see you. Ooh, you are booking it. <laughs> that was cool. Glide, com glide complete. Oh yeah, there she is. All right, swinging around. Got you 12 clicks out. Making an approach. Definitely closed that gap. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, throttling her back. Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna drop the uh, oh, not landing gear. That's not what I'm gonna drop. Well, I, I'm gonna dock with the mother ship and then uh, I'm gonna hop in a Taipan really quick. Came all this way. <laughs> Yes, the game's multiplayer, Sam. I'm playing with uh, my buddy Sala right now. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I'm gonna request docking. 
and then uh, redock with my ship, and I'm gonna get ready to throw out the um, the uh, the SRV. Hmm. Picking up another signature. Another one. It's just. It should just be me and you. For a brief second, I'm pretty sure I had another signature. Stand by. I got nothing. Hmm. Yeah, I just was all right, just thought I'd check in. This big thing. <laughs> you setting her down? Find me some real estate, yeah. All right, copy that. I'm gonna follow. Him. Dude, this place is gonna be a pain in the ass to land on. Oh, with the ice, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at it like nothing looks stable. Wait, maybe right here. It's pretty flat. Yep. Just slow it down. Let it get out. Copy that. Throttling down. I got Overwatch. Some real estate. Copy that. You look good on approach. All right. There we go. Contact. Let me check modules real quick. Yeah, most of it's off. Yeah, I'm only running thirty percent of my power. And SRV deploying. Copy. Sky's still up clear. Another ship has got Overwatch. <coughs> Eyes on your SRV. Shit, the gravity out here is wicked. <laughs> I got eyes on the ship. <laughs> that looks cool. <laughs> Where are you at? I don't see you. Flying overhead. <laughs> ah, that's cool. Just gotta keep at it, Sam. It'll get easier. I got something up ahead. Copy. Okay, that's your shit. That's not what I'm looking at. Ship will take off in a second here. Hey, uh, if you want to scout out, kind of like, uh, just stay like behind me, so you don't mess with my sensors. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I think I was picking you up for a second there. Oh. Yeah, that'll happen. Ok, 
I can't tell. Are you headed towards me or are you headed away from me? Okay, you're headed away from me. Increase my scanner range. I mean, it's got some wicked hills and stuff, but it's dead. Yeah, see? I'm not seeing much. You can't really see, but if you come to where I am up ahead, there is like an area where like they could have done like an ice cavern. Yeah, that's yeah. You see it? Yeah, like right there. Yep. That could have been like an, an ice cavern. That'd have been pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. Get up overhead here. Let's see if I can see what I can see over the hill. Let me try and get up this hill. Okay, that might have been a little too much. <laughs> Eyes in the sky. <laughs> After you get to... You have to get to the top of this kind of mountainous area. You drop back down into some of that, like, reddish dirt. In my, my direction, the heading I'm already heading? Yes. Alright, gotcha. Oh, maybe the red there has some minerals. Possibly. I can't really tell without getting closer. Well, then again, the relevance of distance is different for you because you're high up in the sky. Yep. Just over the mountain is like five clicks for me. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I'm picking something up. I uh, counter thrust good. Nice landing. Well done. Oh! Ooh! The... Yeah. The wheel just snagged that little rock. <laughs> that happens to me all the time in the SRV. Alright, yeah, I'm picking something up. Last time I found a probe. Mm -hmm. I think I see the red stuff uh, coming up. Yep. Uh oh. Nope, that wasn't good. <laughs> hey, that nebula. That nebula in the distance looks cool. I believe that's oh, where yeah. we came from. Yeah, that's where we came from. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. That's my I laser see, pointer presentation. I see the red stuff you're talking about. Yeah. Nice hops. Hold on. I see you catching air. <laughs> Yep, there we go. I'm oh, sorry, here. Oh, they found, found something? something? Yep. Oh, nice. Get out of your scanner range here. You can see the ship overhead. Dude, that is a, just a cool sight. <laughs> oh, what do we got down here? Alright, let's see if we got anything good. Oh, I see. That's what you're targeting. Yeah. I got we for it. Let me help. Full. There we go. A little sulfur.
ten. <coughs> iron. Mm, all the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, not <nothing> rare. Sulfur <laughs> yeah. again. Nickel. Yeah, this is all generic stuff. Yeah. I can't see, but um, you can usually tell on the uh, the menu for the planet what's what's here for minerals. I don't know if that made any sense, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. Got that. God. Oh, <laughs> ouch. Make a loop around that. Just gonna go make a loop around this mountain out here. Yeah, I got eyes on you. The uh, mothership's following. Yeah, I hope so. She won't be able to keep up, but. <laughs> no, she's trying hard. She can't keep up with you. Try <laughs> to throttle it back just a little bit to help her out. You got the uh, Taipan. I brought a Condor. I have both. I have a Taipan oh, and both. a Condor. Yeah. Yeah. I figure this is America. Why choose when you can have both? Call. Get ready to head out of here. It's nothing special. Sounds good. Alright, ship's gonna be inbound, so don't be uh, alarmed. Copy. Alright, I better start heading back too. I'm 10 clicks from my ship, so. <laughs> oh no, that's your ship. It kind of it came out of orbit already. There it is. Yeah. There she is. Yeah. Yeah, she's a couple clicks from you. Oh, she's landing like right beside me. Oh, there you are. Hello, gorgeous. the dance of death with my anaconda here. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Oh, I think it's... Ship's landed. Uh, I'm coming up behind her. Well, let's continue off to Kelowna, shall we? Copy that. I'm docking my Taipan. Good effect on Doc. Swapping up. In 